Prozac is one of the first antidepressants made, and it's the first selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor made. Uh, when it initially came out, it made headway because it did not cause some of those major side effects that the older antidepress antidepressants did, and it was found to be much safer. So it's available in either a tablet or capsule form. Uh, and it's shown to be effective in children as well as adults. There's also a liquid formulation of it, and there's a once a week uh, medication of this, although I don't really see that prescribed very often. Uh, Prozac can be useful in many conditions, including depression, anxiety, obsessive compulsive disorder, premenstrual dysphoric disorder, post traumatic stress disorder, panic disorder, and social anxiety disorder. Here's a diagram that shows how Prozac, li Prozac lines up compared to other medications of a similar type and the indications of the medications. <clears throat> what I don't like about Prozac is how much the dose varies. The smallest dose is 10 milligrams and it can go up to 80 milligrams. And the starting dose will typically depend on one's weight and a general rule of thumb is to start at a small dose and increase the dose gradually as needed. And it can take anywhere between four to 12 weeks for the medication to work and for the conditions related to like anxiety or OCD or panic, it typically takes higher doses to notice an effect. So what's unique about this medication is that it stays in the body longer than other medications. So this could be a good thing for someone who does not take medications regularly and tends to skip doses. Uh, as mentioned, it can also be administered in a liquid form, and this may be better for people who are unable to swallow pills. Also, there's an option for of taking this medication just once a week rather than every day, but again, I have not seen that once a week option used much. If someone is on other medications as well, this may not be a good choice because it affects the liver enzymes and can also hinder how these medications will function. Uh, otherwise, its side effects are similar to other antidepressants such as Zoloft or Lexapro. So you can refer to those videos for more about side effects of these types of medications. Uh, people can get nauseous when starting this or changing the dose and taking it with food during those times uh, may help decrease those, decrease those effects. Some of the side effects that are rare but most concerning include risk of suicidality, causing symptoms of mania and people with bipolar disorder, or a condition called serotonin syndrome, which appears as a, collective, a collection of symptoms that could include all or just some of these. So if you benefited from this video in any way, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and help the channel to continue.